We produce what we call interactive mural painting events and the reason why we do that is that's our way to introduce mural painting to the masses at its most basic level for a very short experience. Thank you. Yes, choose a clean brush, choose an available paint tray, take it with you, paint anywhere on the truck except for the wheels, windows, and lights, and have fun. If you want to switch colors, bring your stuff back and clean brush. I don't know. Well, the Mobile Mural Lab is really interested and focused on collaborative mural making and kind of using or viewing the mural process as a social space. And why that's important to us is we want to promote dialogue between people that come from many different backgrounds. So when we show up in public and we create or facilitate a free space for people to express themselves, I think that lends itself to an experience where people can either exchange a smile or uh, go into a deeper dialogue about critical issues that relate to them. It's an interactive mural painting activity. So it's reintroducing art education to the public. Express yourself, be creative, have fun, bring community together. It's very cool. Are you guys planning on like using this, like the way it is, we're, the way it ends up? We're an organization, so this is just one event, and we go into different places, we go into schools, we take kids through mural painting processes, we paint big murals for cities, stuff like that. This project being a large truck that you paint on already kind of creates this spectacle. So if you can imagine when you insert us in a place like Ciclavia or at a zoo, I mean, it's like bees to like honey, right? I mean, it, it, uh, it, it, it attracts people on its own. Um, so um, it does it naturally. So we sometimes partner with civic entities such as the L.A. County Zoo. And the reason why we collaborate with civic entities is because they serve the entire public of Los Angeles. So the zoo is a great place for us to provide or or uh, facilitate a, a space for creative self-expression with a diverse group of people. Let's have a mobile mural that, that kind of goes to different communities and it can be produced in East Los Angeles but then could be driven to West Los Angeles and really start to have a visual dialogue. All right. We do mural painting residencies in schools where we spend a long-term engagement there, maybe like two to four months. We develop a relationship with the students and we take them through an entire permanent mural painting process, everywhere from the social engagement strategy to collect data, to the mural design, to the actual mural painting production. And, um, we try to target communities that have a need for art education space for people to express themselves in public, to promote connectivity to their physical environment, and we target communities that have a graffiti vandalism issue. I am an alumni of Los Angeles High School, so um, being able to come back to a school where you graduated from just barely uh, by the way, and, and have a, a visual impact um, like the mural that we created there is very rewarding for me. It's really important to represent all members of a community, whether they're wanted in that community or they're not wanted, they still exist. And to acknowledge that everyone exists is a really important thing within public art. 
if one part of a community feels left out, then they're not part of that community anymore. And so that would have a counterproductive effect on using art as a way to unify people. So, like I said, call one and then design it and that's all you. Okay. Okay? So do you want a piece of paper to kind of dry it yeah. out first? Okay, I have some over here on the table. All right. I'm a female working in a career that's mostly male driven. So that's something that for me has brought on many challenges that I've had to overcome. I want girls to look at murals and feel that they're reflected in that mural. I feel a lot of times that murals are painted by men. It's not being told from a woman's perspective or a female's perspective and to really aim a mural at a female audience is different to empower her like there's all these little girls that walk down the street on their way home from school and they're gonna see that and maybe they'll remember it maybe it'll impact them in some way that they're not conscious of now but later down the line you know it affected them somehow Fun. Really fun. I like the snake that they drew. That one? You want it pointed? I work in Boyle Heights at a charter school there. Um, and I, the mobile bureau came to my school and gave my kids a lab. And they actually got to paint and get, get um, hands on activities with the mobile bureau. So they got to paint around it too and paint their own stuff. And then later they had to work on a project where they got to actually paint a mural on the outside of our school. It's something that's going to be in the community for a while. So whenever kids drive by, Whenever they walk by, they see that mural still there and they remember how the experience of making it. I mean, I've heard the saying before, to know what a society is like, you just gotta look at the writing on the wall. And then that tells you a lot about what's going on. With Eric Garner, you know, during the riots in LA, you could just look at the walls and see what people were thinking. People were like walking down the street, they see something, they talk about it. If it wasn't there, then they wouldn't be talking about it. Art should be something that brings people together to discuss issues that are more important than art. When there are social political conditions that should be contested, I think murals are a great way to address those issues by creating a visual image or a visual language that everybody can identify with. The idea of opening up the streets and like really letting communities kind of flow in and out right and kind of getting a different perspective you know visually um, while riding on a bicycle you know down the street creating and using this road to link communities up visually via these mobile murals i think that everyone is an artist and everyone has the potential to call themselves an artist and should Muralism, you know, it's kind of glamorized as this kind of romantic art and, and it, it is all of those things. It's very beautiful and it's, you know, to be up on scaffolding and painting, you know, but it's very hard work. It's labor intensive work. When you look at lack of arts ed and, 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 you know, this country as a whole, that's what we attempt to do is educate. Like, we're educating the future muralists, you know, in 20 years, hopefully there'll be a group of artists that say, hey, I remember when that truck came to my school, or I remember when I made, met Dave and Roberto and, and, and they taught me how to do this, or that inspired me and that's why I'm painting now. We hope we can inspire a new generation. That's our goal.